Okay, so fifth grade first, you painted a piece of cardstock, a thicker piece of paper Bristol board, with a pattern. Once the pattern is on there, we painted it with the neon paint. Two coats to make them super bright. Once that is done, then you take your six page paper and you make different emojis. You are using the Google Classroom to find different emojis that have never been invented before. Then you're gonna transfer your drawing to a piece of styrofoam. There are two ways to do this. Number one, you can cut out your drawing, you can tape it to the styrofoam and press and trace it. That's method number one. Method number two is you can use a circle tracer to draw it again. First thing you do is you draw it and then you're gonna go back and do a little bit more work. When you draw it with a pencil, you wanna make sure your pencil is not too pointy. If your pencil is too pointy, it'll make a hole in the foam. Not to worry, I have plenty of extra. After you've made it once, you're gonna take a pencil, excuse me, a pen, and make your lines thicker. So what I did is I traced two circles, an inner and an outer, and then I used a pen to fill in the space. Now here's where it gets kind of tricky to understand. Things that I'm coloring in black, when I do the printmaking, they actually show up as the color of the paper. So anything that is recessed or pressed down will not print. Anything that is white will print in the black ink. So with a pen, you slowly and carefully, you go up and down and left and right. The color of the pen does not matter. It will not show up on the print. When we roll this in black ink, everything that's white will appear black, and then everything that's black will appear in super cool rainbow colors. 